Hello my dear friends, we are officially crossed the halfway mark in our 10 days SQL journey. Just a little more to go and I promise the best is yet to come. Today's topic is super exciting. It is about subqueries. But don't worry, we are going to learn subqueries in the simplest, most beginner friendly way possible. So the queries we will practice today are going to be very easy and practical. So you can build confidence at last and there is no pressure at all. It is just a pure learning. This project is designed in such a way so that you can enjoy it basically. And I hope you all are enjoying it. So let's start our today's session. And our today's session is all about subqueries. So firstly, let's see what this subquery means. Sub means something smaller, correct? Means a query inside a query is called subquery or a question inside a question is called subquestion okay now let's understand this with very easy example and here it is our example so our goal is to find the fruit which fruit is most expensive which fruit means fruit name what we are looking we have to look for the columns that we need to select so which fruit means we need to somewhere select fruit name most expensive means it is related to price so we need to select price column now here it is written most expensive means the price that is highest correct that we need to select so we can write here max now how to utilize this how can we get our result so can we write it like this select and then fruit name and then max price and then uh, from table name can we write it like this no we cannot write because here we are using the aggregate function max function and this column which is fruit name is left as it is neither it's inside the group by nor it is inside the max function we cannot leave any column like this here we uh, have studied the rule right remember that uh, group by and the aggregate functions are sibling if we are using more than two columns then one should be go with the group by and another should go with the aggregate functions or all the columns should be inside this aggregate uh, sorry group by clause right okay so how can we solve it now so now let's see this thing see here we definitely cannot use two columns okay if one is with the aggregate function and another is left as it is okay we cannot use it like this what if we use only single column what if we only take the max price and leave this fruit name okay and we can write it like this select max price from fruits so the answer the output that we will get it will be a number only okay the max price could be 100 rupees 200 rupees the number only we are still not getting the name of the fruit okay so how to you how to uh, get this exactly this is the another question how to get the answer of this okay now you can say there is another method that we are using and it is this why uh, we cannot write it like this select fruit name price where price is equal to the max price so no guys we cannot write it like this as well it will throw an error because it is an aggregate function and we cannot write it like this with the where clause all right so how to now solve it so here subquery part will come into the picture and how so firstly we have to find this answer this will be our subquery okay and we will put this subquery inside our main query and the main query is this to select the name of the fruit okay so we have to write it like this select fruit name price from the fruits table where price is equal to now here inside the parenthesis our subquery starts which is select max price from fruits so where price is equal to here uh, suppose we got the answer 200 max price is 200 so here uh, it will be where price is equal to 200 like this all right so this is the answer of our subquery 200 okay and while writing the code we have to write the subquery like this and internally its answer will goes into the where clause and then we will get our result and then our result window will be something like this here fruit name and here the ma maximum or highest price okay now understand this with one more example so here it is written show me student who scored the highest okay so who scored the highest is a subquery and show me the students means the list of students uh, sorry the name of student will be the main query so for that we firstly have to solve this part 
score the highest one. So for that we need to write select max marks from students. Using this max marks we can get the highest score correct. So this is our sub query and this will give the number result. So we simply have to put this sub query inside our main query. Alright and we cannot write it like this where equals max marks. We cannot simply like equals and this aggregate function it will throw an error. After the equals we have to write a sub query part and inside the sub query this code will be written. And one very important question related to the subquery is this that we can use the subquery inside select clause where uh, from clause when we are using the subquery inside the from clause then the output is always a form of table it is a tabular form okay we can also use the subquery inside the where clause then having us also in exist join update delete insert case if with CTE commentable expressions with all these clauses we can use the subqueries. Now for today's session we will use a uh, few of them we will take few of them because we obviously cannot take all of them. We will cover it when we will start our intermediate project challenge okay. So let's firstly start with some basic stuff only all right. I hope guys I am able to make you understand the things now let's start with our queries one by one and the queries are easiest one I have designed especially uh, for all of you so that you guys will get it and uh, feel some confidence after solving it all right now let's open mysql workbench so here I have already opened my mysql workbench and I have instructed the SQL that use online food delivery okay now let's write our first query and it is show all menu items comma price along with the average price of all items okay so in our usual approach what we do we simply select the column so what columns we need to select we need to select the item name column why because it is written here all item menu items so for that we need to select item name what else price is simply written so we will select price then it is written along with the average price of all items so how can we select average price can we write it like this average price and um, from the name of the table so name kya hai what is the name of the table the name is simply menu item can we write it like this no again we are using aggregate function only we are not using any group by for these two columns correct so we cannot write it like this so instead of writing this average price we have to write here sub query okay and that sub query will start with the bracket with the parenthesis and here we will write select okay select now we will use this average and then the price inside this parenthesis because we are using this average function on the price column from which table so from menu item table okay and we have to give it one alias name or nickname as average price so that in the output window this average price will come as a column heading okay from menu item this is it okay what we did we simply have used this sub query okay we cannot write here average price we have to use here sub query and this is how we can use it. So we here we are using the sub query with the select statement. In your tasks you will you will see some queries where you have to use the sub query with the select statement. Okay. I hope you understood this very well. Now let's run it. And here you can see our result. So here it is item name, the price and the average price of all. Okay. Do you want to see if we simply write here average price then what will happen? So let's write here only average price. Average and I am writing here price. Okay. Now let's run it and see. So it is not running. Let me show you the error. So here this is our error which is coming. Non-aggregated column without group by. Okay. In aggregated query without group by. Okay, this is what we are discussing. Fine. So now let's go back. Okay. Now come to our query number two. And query number two is saying to show customers who placed at least one order. What is 
happening okay all right so here we have to uh, show the list of the customer who placed at least one order so the customer who have placed at least one order they must be in the order table correct this order tables show us what the all the list of the customers who have placed the order so if they are at least one case then they must be inside this all right so our sub query will be so our sub query will be formed from this statement which is at least one order okay now we have to get the list of the customers so let's select oh, sorry so firstly let's select the customer name okay customer name and we can also select customer id okay from which table from customers table now where customer id in here i am using in see it carefully guys i am not using here equal i am using here in now i am writing here the sub query firstly see it then i will explain it later again so in select customer id from orders okay so this is our sub query and it is giving us the list who have placed at least one order select customer id from order so you will get the list of all the customers ids who are in the orders table and it is what i am saying you will get the all customers means it is a list so whenever there is a list there is not a single results not a single out in that case we have to use this in in means it is a list we are providing a list so here all customer ids will come okay all customers id and then customer name customer id from customers table where customer id in this list so only those customer id will reflect in our output window who are in this list all right so now let's run it hmm. so here we have the customers along with their customer id who have placed at least one order i hope guys uh i am able to explain you the concept of sub query i know it is very basic thing for all those who already know this concept but it is still a heavier thing for the beginners it is not that easy to digest but it is all about the practice i am especially saying this to the beginners if you are a beginner please practice the sub queries as much as possible if you want to get more uh, you know questions from me then just mail me on my id or you can message me on my whatsapp number i will provide you more uh, questions uh, on the the same topic sub queries the more you will practice the more you will get proficient in this uh, concept which is sub query all right so now here you can see your task list in front of you so see that and submit your submission form so see you tomorrow guys till then take care keep practicing bye bye